the best Joey Wheeler deck in Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. So continue my series in Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel where I take old characters in the Yu-Gi-Oh! series and make a modern version of their deck. We are doing Joey Wheeler. And again, I'm going to toss out a disclaimer. I'm not recreating a deck that they play in the anime. I'm taking the character's concept if they play today. If, if Yu-Gi-Oh! was an anime happening today with 10,000 plus cards happening, what would they play based on a personality? That's what that is. So if you're wondering where Jinzo is and stuff like that, they probably wouldn't place those specific cards in these situations. So this is supposed to be as meta and competitive as it gets while matching the character's spirit and how they basically do it in the series. That makes sense. But that's how we finally got Joey Wheeler. This is my first Red Eyes deck on the channel, I think. And through the one person who's been commenting to do a Red Eyes video for the past year, I told you I was going to get to it eventually. And here we are. All right, so Joey. Joey's been known to just always have random piles of cards together and somehow it worked. <laughs> Never forget that this man in Battle City had... Legendary Fisherman, he had Jinzo, Insect Queen, Red Eyes, a bunch of random cards all together, and somehow he won these duels. With that said, I went for the Red Eyes deck here. With Joey, you also had two options. You could, you could do something like run a Warrior deck. So immediately I was thinking like Ancient Warriors or like Infernobles. But I feel like if I didn't have a Red Eyes deck in a, in a Joey Wheeler video, it just wasn't right. So I went with this. So I kept it pretty simple. Two copies of Red Eyes. You know, if you do three, I'm a brick and I'm open up two and just immediately throw up. So the goal is to never see these, honestly, in my opening hand. I threw in Gamma because I feel like with his duels against Esperoba, he kind of has some connection to Psychics, and it's a good way to have some kind of negate if you're going second. Maybe if you go first and they try like Maxi or something like that, you can negate that, and you can get a free Chaos Ruler out of it. So that's what I want with that. I feel like handshot wise, Joey definitely wouldn't play Maxi, but he definitely would play Cross Out Designator, and I can see a little in the anime right now, Joey finding this card in a shop. Like, Yugi, come look at this card, bro! And thinking this is the greatest card of all time. So I threw in one Maxi. Mostly as a cross out target. Uh, three copies of Ash because you gotta play Ash. And I threw in Ghost Ogre solely because this is not really a great hand trap, but it's decent. And I feel like Joey is the top person who would kind of hold back on specific hand traps because he thinks that they're a lot better than they actually are. In this case, Ghost Ogre, and speaking of cards that aren't as great, Ultimate Slayer. Of course, we gotta have the upgraded Red Eyes card. So we have uh, Darkness Metal Dragon and we have Black Meteor Dragon as well. Now, I know you guys are gonna notice the Danger Bigfoot and just be confused. Why is this in the deck? Because Joey has always been known for splashing random cards in his deck and somehow they worked. And while Danger Bigfoot isn't really that great of a card, it could have its you know utility and uses here and there. You know, getting a draw out of it, popping a card. And I figured uh, this kind of fits the randomness that Joey was. I don't know. We'll, we'll figure out how it actually happens once we sit down to duel. Throwing one copy of Magma Hut, mostly because of the Dragon Search. I would argue this is more of a Kaiba card, but I feel like Joey's not a person who would just probably have the one bestial this one and mostly just as a search for dragons in his deck. Now, this is going to be my favorite part of, of the breakdown. Joey, I feel like, is an idiot. And with him being an idiot, he probably doesn't want to think when it comes down to clearing a board. So what better way to do that than to either... Evilly matches opponent, which by the way also has warriors on the screen, so that's kind of like my argument here. Or playing Lightning Storm. I feel like Joe's the top person now, let his opponent go first, so he can go second, and then see a crazy board and be like, I'm about to clear this out with one card. So what better way to do that than to have Evilly match and Lightning Storm. By the way, this is the only time you're ever going to see me play evenly matched. I hate this card with a passion, but for the purpose of Joey, we're playing this today. Another reason why I threw in Ghost Ogre Snow Rabbit is because it's a possible target for emergency teleport, and I can use that for the Synchros in this deck as well. But I also have this for Rocket Synchron, which, which could be a free tuner on board, and also can bring back a dragon, so I figure it's pretty fitting here. And of course, one Red Eyes Fang with Chain. This card is actually decent, but I it's, it's kind of slow, so I just kept it at one. So yeah, I feel like this is as Joey as it gets for... The main deck. The extra deck, again, I kind of kept it more on the pile side. Normally with extra decks, you kind of have like one one set of targets that you do. So for example, if, if you're playing like a synchro deck, they're all mostly synchro cards. Or if it's a fusion deck, they're mostly fusion cards. And here, I kept it in the spirit of joy. So we got Garura for a Ultra Slayer target. We have the one fusion, which is going to be Meteor Dragon. Also, because Rad's fusion sucks, I did throw in one Preda plant. Uh, Again, I'm very rarely going to be playing that, but if that's a situation where I have to get into so I can get free burn damage and a monster on board, damage-wise and attack, I can bring this out, but this is not that great of a card. Of course, we got Boralot. I can literally see in the anime as well, Joy walking into a store and being like, Yo, Yuki, check out this, this dragon that just came out. It's so crazy. And then figure out a way to play this. It, it's Again, it's more of a dragon, and I can see this be up Joy's alley. And then finally, we have uh, Dark Smell Dragon Link. We have Unicorn, which I can use with Mascarina. And finally... Mech Knight Crusadia, Avermax. Similar to what I said with Yugi, I feel like because this is a warrior, despite it being a Cybers, this is a warrior, and it's, it's definitely up the sleeve of 
a card that I feel like Joey would play. All right, so let's see how this works out. I won a coin toss, but again, Joey's the type of person who'd be an idiot and be like, you get to go first. Let's see what you got. And, you know, do something stupid, and then he's locked out completely. But looks like we opened up great. Not only do we have Lightning Storm, but we also have Evenly Matched. So technically, if they fill their board, I could do a lot. Okay, uh, where, where, where are we going with this? What are you, go what are you gonna play? Is this like a pure uh, Lyralisk deck? Interesting. All right, I'll take it. Oh, now, once we get to my, my definitely is playing Lyralisks. I don't know if, if, if Harpies can fit in that at all, but she is definitely playing Lyralisk. I feel like this might be a slightly long turn. So whenever they finish this, we'll just, I guess, hop into it. But I, you've seen this. You know, you summon a bunch of birds. You make them unbreakable or something like that. And then uh, you make Zeus. Oh, yeah, that's right. I made him go first. I'm like, why Why did I choose to go first? <laughs> Speaking of which, my hand is not very good. So the only play I can make here is, granted, I don't, I don't get interrupted, which we probably won't because we have these two. I'll be able to get Meteor Dragon out. You know what? Actually, now that I think about it, I'm kind of screwed because... This, I can't destroy. I don't know if I can clear this action now that I think about it, because the, the quick effect makes it so you can't be destroyed by card effects or battle. So what I have to do, that's it. Okay, it's a lot of material here. All right, first and foremost, draw. See, I'm just better. Call me Yami Joey Wheeler. Wait, why can't I put, I don't have a, yeah, dude. Why can't I play Ultimate Slayer? Why can't I? Wait, 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 wait. Why can't I activate Ultimate Slayer? I have my Exceed. It's an Exceed. Your opponent can activate Monster Effect on Toss card. Set one monster from Extra Dead, then target one monster. Because you have to target it. I forgot that Ultimate Slayer requires you to. If you're scooped. Anyways, Joy Wheel is unbeatable. You know what? That's the luck factor, by the way. Th this is how Joy. Outside of getting lucky with Danger Bigfoot activating. This is the other luck factor, is your opponent just uh, scoops out of fear. Because they look at your hand, and, and then even though I have nothing in my hand, they're out of here. All right, so we got another coin toss win. I'm going to throw up. Tyree, are you watching this? On call, when me and Tyree were, like, talking about the decks, because I had him look at the deck afterwards, I'm like, I'm going to toss in cross out at one max C, but I guarantee you in the video, I'm going to open up with both. I told you it was going to happen. All right, I guess we're, I guess we're max Cing. I guess we're max. By the way, red ice in my hand again. Oh, while you're at it, go ahead and call by the gravy. Yeah, no, this is great. This is fantastic. Everything's working out just as it should be. Am I clearing? Am I clearing this? Am I doing anything with this? No, because this is, this is, uh, oof. I can't, I, I can't, I, don't, I, I can't play through this. I can't. Look at his hand. Why? Why two? Joey bricked against, uh, was it Odeon? It's, it's canonical, okay? Between Kaiba and Yugi and Joey, Joey's definitely on the bottom of the list as far as like how good he is. But I also know his luck factor in bricking is gonna be top tier because he comes up with cards like this. You know what's even worse is when I, uh, when I get my turn and my opponent plays Max C on me. I, I, I can see it happening. Okay, so all I really gotta do is just play around Revolt. What, what's a, what, what do I need here? There's a lot that I need here. What does this do? Can I even activate this? I can't. I, I have a. I have a link. I have a link. I can probably drop flame swordsman for this. What can I do here to stop revolt? I mean, here's the good news. Ultimate Slayer isn't once per turn, so I can hit this card. And then when they make the ominous one, which I feel like they won't, because I they won't do that unless I actually like get something happening on the field. I can make uh, the second one go bye bye. It'd be one C revolt. What are you bringing out? Branded fusion. Oh, this is great. All right. Y'all ready to, to see some A1 Joey plays? Watch this. This is going to be great. Yo, hold on, hold on, hold on. Th this couldn't have gone any better. Suddenly, this is as Joey as it gets. Joey opens up with a brick and it works. Joey opens with a brick and it works. How? 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 There's revolt. I have to figure out a play through that, though. So that's gonna be the biggest challenge here. That's revolt. Okay. So right off the bat, we are windmill slam dunking. You know what? I needed another copy. Let's be real. I needed another copy. Ultimate Slayer animation number one. Let's go ahead and send this away so we can draw a card. Get off. Go back. Go back in the deck. Go back in the deck. 
Woo! Animation's clean. And then we get to draw a card. Uh, what can I draw here? I swear to God. Well, no, it's fine. Ashby, I dare you. Uh, Ashby, 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 I dare you. Ooh, that actually is a was a great card to get on the field. Let's check this out. Now we're going to send Red Eyes away. And I want them to make the ominous one. Please make the ominous one right now. Ooh, they're not going to. Not yet. I mean, there's no reason to yet. Hold on. Maybe they'll do it. Maybe they'll do it. Please. They didn't do it. Did they not do it? Do they have enough uh, cards? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, they, have, they have enough. I guess this is all we're doing. I was really hoping they were just going to go crazy and just banish this because... <laughs> all right. Maybe... The, the one card that they have is not good. Oh yeah, no, they could they could have they could have made ominous one. No, they 100 percent could have made ominous one. What did they banish? What did they banish here? Oh my god. Hey, all I'm gonna say is this is as Joey as it gets. <laughs> this is as Joey as it gets. Cause I can just see Joey grinning like, ooh, if he activates this card. And then they don't activate it. And then Joey just looking stupid like, eh. So the better question is, is can they kill me right now? They can't. I have one ultimate slayer with their name on it. They absolutely can't kill me. I guess I'm just gonna drink my water here and just go to the bathroom or something and see what happens afterwards. Man, I really wish that they had Dragoon now more than ever because Dragoon would actually definitely fit. So he's got 6,100 on board already. Albion, no, I think that's that's GG's. That's definitely GG's. Oh yeah, this is 100% GG's. Bro, don't shuffle that back. I, I don't, I, you know what? For entertainment, for the entertainment factor, I hope that I draw red eyes for turn. You know, <laughs> you know, oh, all I'm saying is I'm not losing again in the next duel. All right, let's try this again. Hopefully, I don't have. I, I, this is actually a very, very good hand. This is a fantastic hand. Wait a minute. They're not playing anything. Oh, they might. I am going to maxi them here. Ash me, I dare you. Please ash me. Please ash me. I know Joey's just grinning at his deck right now, like, oh, his hand's like, ooh. <laughs> By the way, the one of maxi, too. It went through. Okay. The the one issue I have here though, Ultimate Slayer. I can't stop Noir with Ultimate Slayer, can I? Right. So how do I how do I stop that from happening? There's Beauty. We get a draw here. Ooh, nice. I think I'm gonna gamma the next card. Actually, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Doodle. Lightning Storm. Yo, we want to see we want to see a Joey ass play. For starters, Ultimate Slayer. We sent Flare away, unfortunately. Beauty's back in the hand. Or back in the deck. <laughs> and then now we lightning storm. <laughs> Destroy all spells and traps. I really wish they would have played like Maxi or something. Imperm, okay. I know they're I know I know they're sick right now. Right now we play Danger Bigfoot and hit itself. This is going, this is going as perfect as it gets. Gamma, yo, we get a free Chaos Ruler two out of this. I know Sleaze has to be mad. I know Sleaze has to be mad. But negate that, and Bigfoot hit, hit himself, of course, because why wouldn't he? But you know what? It's fine. 
because that's all we needed to see here. Yo, this is going as great as it gets. We got the Brick Duel. We got uh, the Gamma Play, which would have given me Chaos Ruler. Now I need to actually do other stuff with the deck that won't let, let me get eviscerated. All right, this time I want a coin toss. We got to do a duel where I go first. This hand is not it, actually. Actually, no, yes it is. Yes it is. Yes it is. What am I talking about? What am I talking about? This hand is great. All right, we're going to go ahead and activate uh, Meteor Dragon first. We'll send you away and summon it. Ugh, now, the question is, do I go for... Yeah, no, let's do Synchron. Let's do Synchron. Because we can also get Red Eyes back on the field as well. Like that. Yeah, I'm making I'm making uh, Chaos Ruler. I thought, like, wait a second... Do I want to do this? Absolutely. We're making Chaos Ruler. Chaos Ruler. Okay. Activate that. Let's see what we actually fish out from this. Danger Bigfoot. Rocket Synchron. Metal Dragon. I'm thinking Metal Dragon. That's the correct answer, right? Yeah, 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 we'll do that, we'll do that, we'll do that. All right, now, I don't want to do this. Because I already normal summoned for the turn, which was my, my Rocket Synchron. I do I do this? Is this smart? Will this do anything? Will this get me anything? I mean, I guess kind of. Yeah, let's, let's do this, let's do this, let's do this, let's do this, let's do this. I'm going to summon Red Eyes. Uh, yep. And we're just gonna make Flare Dragon. Now, in a really good Red Eyes deck, you can actually get two of these out and just super tax your opponent. But, uh, we'll just settle for one. Because paying a thousand for every card he plays is insane. And then, oh, that's right, we have a Red Eyes in our graveyard. Wait a minute. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Do we got some plays here? Do we have some plays here? And I know I can grab this, but we don't want to do that. We want to have two red eyes in the graveyard at any given moment to do this. I guess we'll just do... Do I want to do this? Is, is there a point in this? If I do, if I go into... Oh, but no, it has to be, it has to be effect monster. That's right, that's right, that's right, that's right. Um, that, wasn't, that doesn't do anything. You know what? I guess I can just... Honestly, set evenly. And just pass our turn. So let's see what happens here. 500 isn't that much, but it can, depending on how many plays you have until you can clear it, it's going to be their main priority to get rid of. You know, technically, I could have also made Mask Arena here, but I don't want to get rid of my Darkness Metal yet. Hero lives. Let's go ahead and do this, Maxi. Honestly, Maxi might win the duel because they're not playing through this. They're not going to want to play through this. We got an anime ass duel for the last duel of the video. Let's go. But they could also very well kill me here, so let's see what happens. <laughs> 500. All right, so I'm going to want to blow up. Not, not yet. We don't want to blow that up. That doesn't do anything. I know my opponent would have been sick if they went first and then I play evenly matched. Because evenly matched pretty much kills any anime deck. Ooh, okay. This is uh, not going where I expected it to go. You know what? Not. Now that I realize it. Hero lives is going to get them killed here because of Red Eyes Flare. If they can play through this, I'm going to be genuinely impressed. Because at 8,000 life points, 500 is nothing. But we're talking about at four, you have like three cards you can play. Yeah, this is all. This is all hurting you. You play that, it's another uh, 500 plus that 500. I, no, I think you lose here. Oh, they're going to be sick when I activate Ghost Ogre as well. By the way, another variation of this deck that I was thinking about doing is some kind of burn. Because you could have done like, the uh, what's it called? There's that Red Eyes Infernal Fire Blast, which does like damage equal to the attack or something like that. Yeah, you, you're going to have to relax here in a second. All right. Go ahead and pop that.
Pop! Now I know they're gonna be sick. But they did, I think they clear my board, don't they? Yo, you know what's me? Watch this. You know what's even funnier? Is I'm about to just activate. If it lets me. I'm about to just activate Red Eyes Flare and get that Red Eyes right back in the field. No! They, they weren't playing to that. Alright, so that is the Joey episode. I'm gonna be honest with you, this was not easy. Red Eyes. Red Eyes struggles. And there's other ways to run the deck as well. Something else I wanted to do. I feel like uh, Joey would definitely play a variety of Punk and Red Eyes. I don't know if that's possible, but it, it, I'm getting this like weird vibe that Red Eyes Punk. I can see it in an episode of Yu-Gi-Oh. I don't know. All right, comment section below. Let me know your thoughts on this episode as well as the deck, and then who else you want to see in the next episode. I, we're, we're to a point where it's gonna be a lot more difficult to make these decks because a lot of these characters haven't had as much love as the main characters of the show. Especially once we start getting to characters like Mai. But again, I feel like Mai would just play Lyralisks. A variation of that. And probably throw in a Zeus in there as well. She also could, be, she also could play Pearlies. I can see it. But uh, yeah, let me know what you want to see next. And stay tuned for the next episode of the character modern series. We have no name for this. Uh, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and end the video right now.